Hey everybody, welcome to Prepper Junkie. Today we're going to go over uh, the very first American Defense manufacturing red dot on the market from these guys. Um, I just got it in the mail, just wanted to go over it and hopefully have enough light here. We're kind of in dying minutes of the sunset, so hopefully uh, the quality of the lighting is good enough. Um, so let's go over this and uh, we'll give you a little tour. So as I said, this is a brand new optic from ADM. They've just gotten to the red dot market and magnifiers. Now, you probably know American Defense Manufacturing for their awesome mounts, which we have on here. And uh, they do make fantastic mounts. There's absolutely no doubt about that. But how is their optics? Well, so far, so good. Um, let's go through some of the pros and cons of this one. Um, so the really first thing you'll notice is a battery compartment up here. It runs off a AAA, which I really like. Uh, so AAA battery at 50,000 hours on level five. Um, there is 10 days daylight settings total and two night vision settings. Um, so level five is right in between. You'll get five year battery life on that. Okay, so uh, let's move down here to the window, windows and elevation buttons which are here. So this is a battery compartment, it is O-ring sealed. Um, but then the windows and elevation right here, the really nice thing about, I like about these is they're exposed. Um, you can use a tool or you can simply use your hand to turn these, uh, which is really nice. You don't need a, you know, you don't need to have a cap to turn or drop or, um, so I really like the fact that they are exposed and they're very easy to change. The brightness adjustments you can see here, sorry, this light hopefully will hold out for us. Uh, these are the uh, brightness up and down settings so they just click so it's very cool the mount is, as I said is American defense mount and it comes this actual lever here and this part is actually titanium so it makes it a little lighter and very very strong and it clicks into place um, so it's you know your typical ADM mount with a titanium lever super nice mount um, you will have zero issues with that uh, with that with this mount you get the absolute cool witness which is really nice. You can get the other mounts if you want uh, one third co witness and stuff like that. Uh, the the lens, uh, the glass is clear. Um, it doesn't have a tint. If it does, it must be it must be very small that I cannot see. Uh, the the two MOA dot is very crisp. Um, it's a very nice clear dot. Uh, it's it's been yeah, just a very nice clear dot. Uh, it's definitely daylight bright. Um, I've had this out in the bright sun the day. Um, and making sure that it doesn't wash out or anything like that and it definitely does not it's a uh, it's a very bright you can see it's got the spec right here um it's a very bright um dot for sure uh, in point bright if you would like um so yeah so that's that's great um the currently they're saying these are currently submersible to 10 feet in actual fact um now they can't, they're not stating this yet, but they have tested it down to 66 feet when it's been 100% accurate. American Defense Manufacturing wants to do their own testing, and so I'm sure later down the line they'll come up with an updated submersible um, rating. But currently they're saying 10 feet. They have tested it to 66 feet, and it's been 100% um, just fine. So, so there is that. Uh, and with uh, like their ADM, uh, their mounts, this does come with a limited lifetime warranty. So, uh, you know, it, if it breaks normally, um, they will obviously take care of you. But if you're abusing it or something like that, they're not going to cover that. Okay. The, the length of this is actually comes in at 2.7 inches, which I believe is just slightly shorter than the M.2. Um, and the weight with the mount that you have on here and the battery, this comes in at 6.1 ounces. So it's a pretty light micro red dot and it has a 20 millimeter objective lens. Uh, you can see the emitter in here. It's a little bigger than I've seen in other uh, red dots. It's not a huge deal breaker by any means. I just wish it was just a little bit lower, uh, but definitely not a deal breaker. Um, some of the negatives, now these might be small um, and maybe I'm just being a little picky. Um, I personally don't like how much branding they have on here. They have it on one side, they have it on here, they have it on here. And I, it's very subtle on the mount. I don't really care. But I just feel like maybe, you know, they just needed one up here. Or if they could have engraved it or made it black, that would have been a little better. I just don't like how much branding personally is on here. But, I mean, again, that's a small thing. It's just a personal thing. Maybe you guys don't care. Um, it comes with bikini covers. It doesn't come with flip-up mounts. Um, I'm not a big fan of bikini covers. I lose them all the time. Flip-up um, uh, caps would have been really nice, but again, for the price point, uh, and 
the price point's about 350 right now. You might be able to go a little cheaper, um, but the price point you're looking at is about 350 So when, when you get 350 you're not going to expect all the... I guess, I don't know if I'm expecting too much to, to have the uh, flip-up caps. Maybe I am. Um, the battery position up here. Now, this is kind of where the comp m5 and the comp m4 they have the you know they have batteries higher up i think it's actually on the other side though if i remember correctly um and they've actually put them down lower and it takes out of out of your field of view so again it's not a deal breaker it just takes up some of your if some of your window you know as such and it would just be nice if it was lower down or maybe on the other side because if you're right eye dominant um it's just kind of in the way so i just think the battery could have been in a better position but again it's little things that might not bother you it's just my little stuff that i've noticed personally um so the some some people have mentioned when they've looked at this they're not a huge fan of where the dots are uh, excuse me where the buttons are uh, and in fact that they are buttons and not like a like a rotary switch or whatever uh, again doesn't bother me it, it works just fine um no biggie so they're just little little things that people have noticed that and i have noticed that i'm you know, uh, not a huge fan of. Other than that, it's a great little optic. Um, I think for the price point, you know, we're talking we're talking 350, so we're talking around the MRO level, right? But the MRO, you've got to add on amount, which makes it more expensive. Um, but for 350, I think you're getting a deal. I think there's a lot of positives about this um, about this optic. The mount's fantastic. The quality construction is really nice. It runs on triple A's. You've got a lifetime warranty. The dot's super crisp. I mean, I don't know what much more you could ask for is it durable i don't know yet they haven't been on the market very long um but if their amounts are anything to go by these should be good to go all right well i think that's about it i'll put a link in the description for you guys if you're interested in purchasing one and if you have any questions comments please ask them below if you haven't hit that like and subscribe button please do so it really helps me out and um, follow me on uh, twitter guys i have a, a twitter channel called prepper junkie i post deals uh, news articles every day um so Follow me over there at Prepper Junkie. All right, folks, that's it. Have a great one.